Welcome to Galata District. For centuries, it has been a home to orphans from Europa and Asia alike. You won't find more diversity anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, assassins make it their home. I would like to see where. Kishinlikle. The Brotherhood is always eager to meet the man who put the Borgias out to pasture. <laughs> oh. Does everyone in this city know I'm here already? Well, your holy land tussle with the Templars did not go unnoticed. When I first set out, violence was so far from my mind. I sought wisdom. The contents of Altair's library. <laughs> not realizing it has been sealed for three centuries? <laughs> no, I assumed as much. But I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Five years ago, Templar influence here was minimal. A small faction with dreams of restoring the Byzantine throne. But they're growing in number, day by day. And the Sultan bears it on his way out. They may try something dramatic. Is there no heir to the Ottoman throne? Not just one. Two angry sons. It's a familiar pattern with these royals. When the Sultan calls, <coughs> the princes draw their swords. Between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. Remember that. In a new mask. Last of the work. Tarum Sambisikoro Ezio. There. Another way. No, no. Watch. Byzantium is dead. As are you. The whole city wakens to welcome you, Ezio. First the regents, now the rats. Ottoman soldiers have a special loathing for these Byzantine thugs. That gives us some breathing room. How much? Eh, just a little. They'll still kill you if you look at them wrong. But they will feel bad about it later. Touching. It's not so bad, really. For the first time in many decades, the assassins have a strong presence here. It wasn't always that way. Under the Byzantine Emperor, the assassins were hunted down and killed on the spot. We're almost there. This way. <laughs> 